Our journey takes us to a tropical island in Thailand named Koh Tao. It is located 70 kilometers and 114 degrees roughly southeast of the mainland city of Shumpon. Koh Tao is a small island that is approximately 21 square kilometers or 8 square miles in area and is situated at the western end of the Gulf of Thailand. It belongs to the Shumpon Archipelago which includes Koh Samui, Koh Panyang and Mu Ko or Antong National Marine Park. The island was formerly known as Pulo Badia by early European cartographers. The name comes from the Malayo Polynesian settlers and was later given the name of Koh Tao, Turtle Island, by its first settlers. It was a breeding ground for hawksbill turtles and green turtles, which are unfortunately in decline now due to the large amount of fishing boats, pollution and visitors. In June of 1899, His Majesty King Chulalongkorn, Rama V, 1868-1910, visited Koh Tao and left his monogram on a rock in Jopor Ro Bay next to Sairi Beach, which can still be seen to this day. Please treat this area with respect, keep yourself covered. Since 1933, the island was used as a prison for political persons and in 1947, Thailand's Prime Minister, Kung Abhai Wangzi, managed to attain a royal pardon for prisoners on the island. Shortly after, in the same year, two Thais, Kun Uem and his brother, Kun O, sailed from Koh Panyang in their traditional sailing boat and laid claim to part of the island. They lived a simple life of harvesting coconuts, growing vegetables and fishing. As of the 1980s, travellers have been making their way to this tropical island. Since then, the mode of transport has been upgraded to include three main ferries, Lompraya, Sitran and Songsam. There are also night ferries. The main group of travellers that come to Koh Tao are looking to make their initiation into the scuba diving world with the various organizations that are here. They can choose from PADI, SSI, CMAS, BZAC and NU. The rest of them come to Koh Tao for a piece of paradise and to get on down and party. In 2006, the number of travelers coming to Koh Tao was around the 250,000 mark and in 2013, it is estimated to be somewhere between 600,000 and 650,000. There are two seasons on Koh Tao, high season and low season. The three high seasons are January the 6th to April the 30th, July the 16th to September the 15th, and December the 21st to January the 5th. This is the very high season.